Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Dave and I'm taking a break from developing some films. Uh, some FP Plus and some colour using the Tetanol Colour Tech. Anyway, I digress. And I thought I'd, um, while I'm waiting, put it to dry and I'm going to get on with scanning them later, uh, I'll introduce you to my collection of cameras. I have two new AL ones. And I believe these to be brilliant cameras. I mean, I love these cameras. Um, all my cameras have 50mm lenses on, uh, 1.4, 1.8, 1.2. Uh, for no reason, just managed to get them at the time. <laughs> uh, and the AL1, um, straightforward camera, no frills, no messing about. Uh, very easy to uh, get good pictures with. You have full manual control, no problem. Aperture, shutter speed. But you can whack it into auto shutter speed, auto aperture or full auto by turning both to auto. Um, in the viewfinder, in the viewfinder, uh, I'm going to just intersect with some uh, video I took earlier from the negatives that um, I'm waiting for to, to dry um, to show you the screen inside. And you have, um, uh, I suppose, what you could call the first sort of focus assist, the, the, the close to being the start of um, autofocus back in the day. And I find this really useful, especially if you've got knackered eyes like I have. And it works really well. And essentially, I'll show you the video, um, you have two, two red arrows, one going left, one going right, and a green dot in the middle. And I'm sure you can figure out for yourself what that means. If you've got a red arrow this side, it means to focus more that way. If you've got a red arrow this way, focus more that way. Once it goes green, boom, you're on target. Also, you have a um, straightforward uh, shutter speed light meter, uh, which is really cool uh, for me. Anyway, it's what I like. So I can put this on A for shutter speed, automatic shutter speed, and control it, control the shutter speed using my aperture, which I find really quick and easy to do. Um, Brilliant cameras, straightforward, don't weigh much. Uh, cost about uh, the bodies are around a hundred pounds ish. A good one that works. Oh yeah, and the key. These are these are, these <laughs> these are highly sought after. Uh, the battery door on these is quite well known for breaking. Easy to remedy. You just get a uh, let's have a look just down here. Just grab a power winder. You can grab on eBay for 10 quid, something like that, 10, 20 quid. That's a brand new one in a box. Um, and pop it on. So not only will that hold the battery door in, but it'll also give you power wind and a bit more heft. You know, sometimes I put the power winder on just because I want a bit more a bit more weight to the to the body. Um, a great camera. And I've got two. Well, actually, I've got more than two. I've got lots. <laughs> but they're in various stages of uh, repair, getting the seals done, which I do every now and again, and uh, other bits and pieces. Anyway, the old cannon cough, which is quite easy to fix. So, pop them back over there. And my other one, currently, at the moment, my um, sort of second-to-go camera. Um, in this case, is the AE one. Uh, and again, just a, a great, straightforward camera to use. Uh, very similar to that, but it doesn't have the focus assist, but it has the, um, where, you, where you have the split, the, the split focus, and when it, when it lines up, boom. And I've got some uh, video, which I'll show of earlier when I was doing some studio shots, which sounds good, but I was just photographing things in the shed. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, again, very straightforward. Uh, up and on. Um, that's for your um, 10 second timer. That's on, that's off. You've got your shutter speed, uh, your ISO setting, and of course your <clears throat> aperture on your, on your dial. Um, you can set this to uh, bulb right the way around. It's got a bit more um, in the way of um, shutter speed, so you can get a bit more creative with these. Um, I've never set that to... Uh, never really investigate this much because so you've got bulb which is fine and then two one blah blah blah, blah all the way through but this is good if you um have your aperture set say to f8 and then you want to control the uh light meter again inside you can this way or this way so you could i was you could go out like i do quite often put it on 250 say so if the weather's allowing you Slightly over, overcast, something like that. Pop it on F8 and then just work the uh, apertures until you get the, the, the meter reading 250, then you know you're on. Um, so it depends whether you're firing up or down or in dark shade and all that stuff. And that seems to work. And it's just an easy camera to use. Again, light. No way, again, the, the, same, the same power drive can go on there as well. So that's a cool one. Little back up at the moment. This has a, a different door problem, and sometimes it chips on the end. Uh, it's not a problem. I mean, you know, they, they open up and lock. Just get a little chip here. Other than that, pretty good cameras. I like the Canon A series, believe it or not. So, what else have I got? Well, for my 6x6, I have the Bronica EC. Boom. My brick. Lovely camera. I, I, I adore this camera. Wastable finder. Uh, back. I've uh, got three or four backs for these, so you can just load them up with different films. Uh, so you can swap them out. Um, this one's got the standard 75mm lens, I think. I think it has. Yep. Yeah, standard 2.8 75mm. Which I think could be wrong, someone will correct me, but I think it's about a 50, somewhere around there, uh, in 35 mil. Um, brilliant camera. Uh, I, I enjoy doing the 6x6 on this. That's that one. And then, my newest toy is my Bronica ETR SI. Uh, this is fit with a 50mm, which I think, again correct me, I think is the 35mm equivalent or something like that. But I also have the 40, I have the 75 and the 100, and, uh, under the thing, or 150. Excellent. 4x5. I also have, because uh, I was very lucky when I bought this, uh, I also have the uh, panoramic back, where you put 35mm uh, 35mm canister in the back and it gives you panoramic pictures which is fun to use um, I have plenty of backs for this you know because obviously you change different things this is the um, the AE2 which is uh, the meter reader you know you can light meter See, see it through there, it tells you what to do on the shutter speed. Uh, and I will see the thumb crank to crank it on. Loaded. <laughs> um, that's a brilliant camera. That's, that's a lot lighter than the, the EC, so you can walk around sort of with that. So that is my little collection of cameras. Um, I enjoy them all. Um, I have others, I have plenty of others. I've got uh, the Canon AE1 down here, some older. I'll just pop it up. I've got two of these. Let's 
make some room. So I have EOS 1 in. Uh, that's just the standard, standard body. And that's got a 20 port of 70. 2.8, I think that is. Yep, 2.8, great lens. Works on my R uh, series cameras as well with the adapter. So that's a useful lens to have. These are great cameras. This is like the pro end of back then, you know. Um, great camera. And I also have, because I like, I like them. I also have, we, uh, here's Bobby, with the uh, drawer. I should check my batteries while I'm here. Look at that, got batteries. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is the V, the EOS 1V. Um, crazy camera, crazy, crazy camera. Uh, you can rattle off loads of film with it. <laughs> you can go very poor very quick. <laughs> uh, you can kiss, let me just show you. So you can rattle through that lot, uh, 24 frames, so that would be about 3 seconds each, so 18 seconds, <laughs> gone, <laughs> if you can load it that quick. But anyway, an awesome camera, top pro end stuff, when I'm feeling lazy uh, and I don't want to muck about with manual stuff and I just want to be lazy. Um, I take one of these two out. Normally, it's this one. That's why it's got a lens on. Um, but this, th these are great, great units. I'm really glad I bought these. But they don't get used all the time. Yeah, the Canon EOS one, either the N or the V, um, are great cameras if you can get one. Uh, I was really lucky. I think this was like new because it didn't have any problems with it. Uh, it, was, it was still sealed in the back and everything, so I was really lucky. As you can tell, it's got the still got the the uh, flash thing there, the, the slidey thing that goes in and out. Um, great cameras, but I don't use them all the time. But I do use. Put it carefully. Come on. So these. So basically, if I was to choose one, I think you probably guess the DAL one. Um, yeah, a great camera. So there we have it. There's my little crew. Uh, Favourite being the AL1, of course. And um, there we are. Now, hopefully the negatives will be dry soon, so I can scan them and uh, get on with the video with that. But um, thank you for joining me with that. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, see you again very, very soon. Keep well and keep taking photographs.